current hash map and a hash table. Both are thread safe implementations of the map interface. So which one of these two implementations should we prefer in our code? Let's see that. So a hash table is synchronized in nature, which means only one thread can access it at a time. Whereas a concurrent hash map divides the complete map in different sections and then concurrent access to each of these sections is allowed one thread at a time. You see overall many threads can access the concurrent hash map but only one thread per section whereas as compared to a hash table only one thread can access the complete map at a time. And because of this the performance of concurrent hash map is better than hash table because more number of threads can access it at a time however one thread per section. If you are iterating over a concurrent hash map and while iterating you want to modify a particular value a concurrent hash map will allow you to do so without the need of any external synchronization whatsoever because you know it provides you a snapshot view of the map to iterate over internally whereas if you want to do the same thing on a hash table you will have to first synchronize it and then you can you know iterate over it and try to modify it and try to modify one of the values otherwise you will get a concurrent modification exception in case of a hash table concurrent hash map provide some performance optimized operations like compute, compute if present, compute if absent in which you don't have to go to a particular index, get its value, then update its value and then again go to the index and then you know update the value. It all can be done in one operation only. You know if we talk in terms of time complexity, it reduces these complex operation to order of one time complexity which is not available in you know hash table. So because of these time optimized methods where you can you know read modify and update the value in order of one time operation it becomes highly performance optimized which is you know not available in case of hash table and you know a hash table doesn't support null values for either the key or the value it will give you a null pointer exception whereas concurrent hash map allows nulls as both keys and values as well so friends it is a very important interview question why you should prefer concurrent hash map over hash table so remember all the points and generally you should prefer concurrent hash map over hash table for your implementations so keep watching our videos and don't forget to like it and you know subscribe to our channel for more such videos we appreciate all the love that you give in your comments and keep supporting us by liking these videos sharing it to your friends if you like this video please take a screenshot of this video and share it on your twitter linkedin facebook wherever you want help us to spread this channel to more and more people